Hello everyone, my name is Nils Oro and welcome to this fifth Q&A. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them the next time around. So let's get started with several questions from Alan Lane. Have you ever watched the Fallout New Break series? If yes, what's your view on it and do you like it or not? I did and I liked both seasons very much. I thought it captured the Fallout spirit very well and if I'm not mistaken, there's a third season on the way. Do you think Mr. House's vision of a new world would last? Well, Mr. House is the kind of person who has a plan B for his plan B's plan B, so I think his visions for a new world would last. The problem is that it will only be for a certain number of people and not for most. What ending did you pick for Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3? For Fallout 3, I've sided with the Brotherhood of Steel, and for New Vegas, I usually pick the independent ending with a fully upgraded Sigritron army. Do you think the Enclave will ever come back in future Fallout games? Since Bethesda managed to bring back the Enclave after they were supposedly blown up uh, to pieces in Fallout 2, I think it's pretty safe to say that we haven't seen the last of them. Why does the Wasteland use caps, not pre-war money? Pre-war money used to depend on the usual capitalist fluctuation of the actual value of money. Like nowadays, money doesn't depend on a real tangible value, unlike before where the quantity of gold your government had would ensure what the money is actually worth. Now we have a more scriptural money, which only increase and decrease depending on what is written in a spreadsheet. The issue with that sort of value is that money is created out of thin air. So it seems logical that in a post-apocalyptic setting, money would only depend on a tangible value, and in the case of Fallout, it started with what we can call the water standard, setting that one bottle of water is worth 20 caps. Why did the US in Fallout need oil? Mostly the whole country was powered by nuclear energy, why oil? It's rather unclear what the actual energy consumption and way of production of the US was at the time. Although, the US still needed oil for other things than energy creation, typically for plastics and chemicals. Do you think Dr. Lee made it to the Commonwealth, and do you think she will be in Fallout 4 if there is a Fallout 4? No idea, I guess we'll have to see. Have you ever thought to do walkthroughs on your channel? I thought about it, but it's not really my thing. I'm not great at improvising on the fly while playing, which is why I prefer my current format. Does it matter if we ask you a lot of questions on one of these Q&A videos? Not at all, but I can guarantee that if you ask me 50 questions, I will answer them all or in only one video. Next questions from Blackburn974. Salut, chasse-tu? Si oui, quel est ton arme à feu et sinon pourquoi? Hey, do you hunt? If yes, what firearm do you use? If not, why? I don't hunt, it's never been a thing in my family, and I'm not interested in this kind of activity. Will Carwell asks, What is your view on the Enclave remnants, and have you recruited them to fight at the dam? They are mostly a nice bunch of people who moved on with their lives after the Enclave's defeat. I think they fit really well in the narrative of New Vegas with their theme of how to deal with their past. And yes, I usually recruit them to help me at the dam. Uncle Maria has four questions. In the Fallout games, did your character has good, evil or neutral karma? By default, I tend to have good karma. Will you rather be a ghoul or super mutant? By default, a non-feral ghoul, but if I can be an intelligent super mutant like Marcus, then I'd pick that. Do you play or watch any sports? If so, which ones? I watch esports and mostly StarCraft 2 tournament. What is your favorite song on Galaxy News Radio and or Radio New Vegas? I like Johnny Guitar. Both Sir Bagman87 and Alan Lane would like to know which drink I prefer between Nuka Cola and Sunset Sarsaparilla. I actually don't like Coca Cola in real life, so I'll go with Sunset Sarsaparilla. Acronym Adam, Alan Lane and Connor Bartula want to know what I think of the rumor about a possible announcement for Fallout 4 during the next E3. First, I think there will definitely be another Fallout at some point. It's too popular not to, and Bethesda didn't buy the license just to have two games out of it. As if it will be announced this year at E3, I'm hoping that it will. Philip Omaka wonders if I could do a video that will be something like a tutorial for Fallout 1. 
My first Fallout game was New Vegas, so when I started playing Fallout 1, I was fairly confused. I don't plan on doing a tutorial video about it, but I'm sure there is some that will help you that you can find on YouTube. Uncle Maria and Ricardo Martinez are asking what is, for me, the scariest enemy in Fallout. On a purely fear factor, the Death Claws are the scariest to me, but otherwise I would say simply the humans. After all, they are the creatures who burn down the entire world, it's hard to top that. Connor Bartula is asking, Are you going to upload more Fallout New Vegas? Yes, I'm going to finish my detailed walkthrough with Lotham Road, and after that, I have yet to decide what the next videos will be about. Psychosave1207 has three questions. What's your zombie plan? Grab my survival kit, get the hell out of Paris as quickly as possible, reaching a coastal city by taking countryside roads with few human presence, get on a boat, and then either live on it in the middle of the sea or on a deserted island. What is your preferred weapon to use in Fallout? The classic plasma rifle. What is your favorite add-on for Fallout and why? I'll say Old World Blues. It's funny, the story is interesting, and Big Empty is fascinating to explore with a lot of stories told at every corner. And finally for Mr. Skyrim World, what do you think about Fallout modes? Modes are great. They only prove that you have made something interesting to the point that it gives people motivations to further the experience. They are important to prolong the lifespan of your games. Look at Baldur's Gate or Neverwinter Nights, which both have an active modes community still active even nowadays. Okay, so that's it for this Q&A. Leave your questions in the comments for me to answer next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.